Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to share my favorite keyboard shortcuts for the VB Editor in Excel. So first keyboard shortcut I use the most often is Alt F11. Holding down the Alt key and then pressing F11 will jump us back and forth between Excel and the VB Editor. So when we're in Excel, we can press Alt F11 to jump back to the VB Editor. And when we're in the VB Editor, press Alt F11 to jump to Excel. So we can toggle between the two windows. Keyboard shortcut in the Mac is Function Option F11. Uh, next up is F5 to run the macro. So we can press the run button right here in the toolbar. We can see when we hover that, it shows the keyboard shortcut F5 right there. And if we just place the text cursor, just left click anywhere in the macro and then hit F5, that will run the macro. Uh, that's the same keyboard shortcut on the Mac, F5. Next one is F8. So F8 allows us to step through the code and run one line of code at a time. So again, I'm just going to put my text cursor anywhere in the macro and then hit F8 on the keyboard. We'll see the first line of the macro is highlighted. Press F8 again, that'll jump us down to this line of code. And then once we press F8 again, that will run this line of code here and highlight and stop at the next line of code. So we continue to press F8 to step through each line of the code and this is great for uh, debugging and testing. And the uh, keyboard shortcut on the Mac is Shift Command I. Next up is Control G to open the immediate window. So I have the immediate window already open down here, and I've hit. If I hit Control G on the keyboard, that will just uh, put focus on the immediate window and put my text cursor right down here. Now the immediate window allows us to run a single line of code. And it's also the place where the debug.print method outputs to. So we can see the results of our macro here for debug.print. Those results are output here in the immediate window. I have a whole nother article that explains five tips for using the immediate window. And I'll put a link below this video to that article. Uh, keyboard shortcut on the Mac is Control Command G. Next shortcut is control space. So control space allows us to easily complete a word. So if I'm just up here in uh, my macro and I'm typing any kind of object reference, maybe something like worksheets uh, or just type the word work and then hit control space, that will bring up the IntelliSense menu and show me all the uh, properties and methods and objects that I can use to then complete that word. So maybe I wanna put worksheets here. I'm just gonna down arrow twice and hit the tab key and that will complete that word. So it saves on typos. Now, another nice feature is we can also use that for variables. So if I delete that there, uh, we can see we have this really long variable name right here. And if I just start typing the beginning of it, I'll just type LR then control space. Again, that brings up the IntelliSense with my variable names there and then I can hit tab to complete that. So I don't have to type out that really long variable name. And the Mac equivalent for that keyboard shortcut is also control space. Next one is control Y to delete a line. So this one is one that causes a lot of confusion, uh, but if we wanna delete an entire line of code, like this line here, wherever we have our text cursor, you can see it's right there. If I just hit control Y, that will delete that entire line of code. So sometimes we think, Control Y will redo in most applications, but in VBA, it actually deletes the line. And the keyboard shortcut in the Mac version is Command Y. Next up is Control I to get uh, quick info or parameter info. So if I was to select the find method right here, I'm just gonna put my text cursor in the find method, just left click there and I hit Control I on the keyboard, that will bring up the parameter info for the find method. And with the find method, there are a lot of parameters. Sometimes it's hard to remember all those. So it's nice to be able to bring up this screen tip here with all of the parameter info on it. And of course, you can hit Escape to uh, close that screen tip. Keyboard shortcut on the Mac is Command I. And finally, another one I use a lot often is Control J. So Control J will bring up the IntelliSense menu. So I'll, again, I just have the text cursor here in the find method. If I hit Control J, that will bring up the IntelliSense menu, which is showing me all of the properties and methods for the cells property here. And of course, it's already highlighted find because that's what we have. But then we can scroll through this menu, the IntelliSense menu, and choose another property or method instead. So that's another great one to use and the Mac equivalent is command J. 
Now, another little quick tip is that most keyboard shortcuts can be found up here on the menus. So if we click the edit menu, for example, we'll see all of the keyboard shortcuts for all of these commands right here. Here's some of the ones we talked about, quick info, control I, listing the properties or methods, control J. So they're all right there on all of these menus here in the VB editor. So that's another great way to learn them. And same with the new VB editor in the Mac. There is a new VB editor for the Mac, uh, for Excel 2016 for Mac. I have a whole nother video that explains how to get that. And those are the keyboard shortcuts that I shared in this video. Now there are obviously a lot more keyboard shortcuts, so please leave a comment below with your favorite keyboard shortcuts for the VB editor. If you'd like to learn more about macros, then join me for a free upcoming webinar on the seven steps to getting started with macros in VBA. During this training, I'm going to explain how to write your first macro, what order the code runs in, what the dots between the words mean, and some of these complex things that are hard to understand when we're starting out with macros. So this will really help you automate Excel and save a ton of time with your job. So click the link right below this video to get registered for the free webinar, and I look forward to seeing you there.